The Windsor Belt Bag is an easy to make project that works great with your Ren Faire and other period events such as a belt pouch or as a sporin. To further enhance the design on your bag, you can use one of several craft aids that are designed especially for this time period. The kits are cut from top quality soft milled vegetable tan cowhide that can be colored and also from 4 to 5 ounce vegetable tan leather that can be tooled and colored. In addition to the pattern that comes with the kit, you can also use designs from Craft Aid plastic templates that will probably suit your project better than the one that comes with the design. Here's a good example of how you can use the Craft Aid template to put a design onto the flap of your belt bag. I will first uh, take a sponge and dampen this leather with water and I'll do it quite thoroughly but I will not do it to the point where it gets soggy and now I'll set it aside for a few minutes until it begins to return to its natural color I have selected this design as you can see right here because it will fit nicely onto the area of the flap and so now I will use the template and I will carefully place that pattern centered on the flap and now with this modeling spoon I can rub this pattern onto the leather after I'm pleased with the way it looks I can remove the pattern and now I can continue. First I will cut all of the lines with a swivel knife. Do this very carefully. Next I will use a medium sized beveler to bevel around all of the lines. Now I'm using a much smaller beveler to do these tight inside curves. Next I'm going to use a background stamp and texture certain areas of this pattern. I'm using the colored pattern that comes with the craft aid to determine where to do this. First, I will apply some yellow water stain in these little oval shaped areas. Next, I'm going to add some red into the center here very carefully. And now I'm going to carefully apply some black in these other areas. And now I'm going to uh, carefully apply some of the water stain to my parts, being very careful here not to get on to the, the uh, tooling I did. And I'm doing this with a good quality sponge, and I'm doing it very carefully. And now I'm applying it to the soft leather parts in this same method, rubbing it in well. After your dye and finish is dry, you can continue with the assembly.